Hey, Laurie, what are you doing? I'm waiting on Uber. You're waiting on Uber? Why are you waiting on an Uber? Um, I'm gonna go somewhere. I've got my suitcase, I've got my mask, I've got my lamb. I'm going somewhere. I see that. <laughs> Looks like Miss Laurie's going on a journey. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church's Celebrate Wonder here on week five. I'm Reverend Meredith Brown, our lead pastor. This is Laurie. She's our uh, director of children and youth ministries, and of course, her assistant, Law DeLam, and they're getting ready to go on a journey. Yeah. Some kind of a journey. Yeah. I'm betting it's a journey of faith. Hmm, sounds like it. Oh. We're so glad to see you today. We hope that if uh, you want to participate in Celebrate Wonder and you don't have an activity kit, that you give us a call in the church office. We'll get you one of those. Uh, we love to see you. We're so glad that we get to have this time together. So, um, well, you know what? While you're waiting for your Uber, could mm -hmm. we head inside and maybe do a couple other things? Okay. I also hear that Porta Backyard is really nice this time of year, so we might just go there. I don't know. But yes, come on our journey of faith. See you inside in just a moment. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to our Wonder Table. You're probably wondering why we have luggage and a backpack. Hmm. We'll fill you in on that later, so you're going to have to wonder just a little bit longer. But we have a new word this week, and it's called faith. Before we talk about faith a little bit, let's go ahead and light our candle. Is that okay with you, Lon? Yeah. Still struggling. There we go. So I was wondering, the word faith, is it hard to have faith? Hmm. That's something I'm wondering about. What about, do you know somebody who has faith? Like really, really strong faith? I think I do. But something to wonder about. Hmm. As we wonder, and before we find out a little bit more about all of this, Let's go ahead and say our prayer. So pray along with me. Here we go. Dear God. Dear God. Help me have faith in you. Help me have faith in you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Amen. Amen. Hey, it's Pastor Meredith. I snuck into the wonder table. Me and Laud, we have plans. We wanted to make sure that you knew what our Bible story is for today. You have in your activity folder the Bible story that you can read together. But it is a Bible story all about faith. It's about God calling Abraham and Sarah into a new journey of faith. God tells Abram, which is his name then, he says, you need to get up from where it is that you're living right now and you need to take a long journey to go to a new place that I want you to live, a new land that I'm going to give to you and make a huge family out of all of your family and your descendants. So you need to pack your bags. He gets them to pack all of their bags and their suitcases and all those things. And Abram with his wife Sarai, and they all travel as God asked them to, to this new place. They have to have a lot of faith in God to believe that God is telling them the truth and then to follow what it is that God is asking them to do. That's a lot about what faith is about. It is trusting God and believing God and then acting like it and doing what God asks us to do. So I was going to pick up our Wonder Cube. Hopefully you have a Wonder Cube as well that we've been using. I'm going to roll our Wonder Cube and see if it gives me some good wonder questions. It says, I wonder, what would you change about the Bible story? Ooh, interesting question. I think 
I would want to know a little bit more about what Abram and Sarai were thinking about being asked to pick up and move from their home and go to a new place. They just did it with such faith, but we don't get to hear those stories. I kind of wonder what they were talking about at their house when they said, well, we're going to pack up everything and follow what God tells us to do. And off they went with all of their livestock and their people to make a new family and a new life and a new place. I kind of wonder about that. Well, we are going to hear some more about our Bible story and watch our Bible video right now. So come in really close so you can see today's Bible story. Hello friends, it's Samuel. Abraham and Sarah went on a long journey of faith with God. One day, God invited Abraham outside and told him to look at all the stars. While Abraham was looking up, God promised him a family as big as the number of stars in the sky. That was a lot of stars. This was really hard to believe. How could this be possible? Abraham and his wife Sarah were already very old, and they didn't have any children yet. How would they have as many kids as there were stars? Even though he didn't know how it would happen, Abraham had faith and believed in God's promises. He believed that God's promises would come true, even if he didn't understand how. Abraham showed his faith by trusting God on the journey. Sometimes it can be really hard to want something that you can't have yet, even when you've asked God about it. Abraham and Sarah really wanted children but they didn't have any yet. What are the things that you want for your life? I think that I want to be an astronaut one day. It'd be so cool to walk on the moon and step into the sky I see every day. I want to get on a space shuttle, maybe even go to other planets one day. That would be such a cool job. Well, I may or may not be an astronaut someday. We'll have to wait and see, but I do know that whatever my journey is, it will be good because God will go with me and I can always have faith in God. Now it's your turn to wonder. Hi everybody, we're back and it's time to do our craft. And our craft today is really pretty easy. You need a piece of paper. Yeah, you saw something on the back of that, sorry. It was a mistake. And something to write with and your hand. So you're gonna take your hand, put it on the piece of paper and it's okay as, as we trace around our fingers to make them a little bit bigger because we're gonna put some things on those fingers. So we're gonna do this just like when you make a turkey at Thanksgiving time with your hand. We'll probably do that later, but that's not what we're doing today. But we are tracing our fingers. Like I said, you can make them a little bit fatter because we need space on them. You can probably hear my dogs outside because they're just not cooperating today. Okay, so you're gonna have something that looks like this, if you can see that. All right, then on like the palm of your hand, this part, you're gonna do a self-portrait. Now, I'm gonna do a really quick self-portrait and it's gonna look like this. There, there's my self-portrait right now, and that's okay. And then you are going to, on each finger, you're going to say, let's start with, uh, let's say, let's start with our pinky finger. And the question is, I want the world to be and you can draw something or you can write something. So I'm going to say, I want the world to be peaceful. The next finger, God is leading me to, I'm going to say, learn more about faith. Now these are your answers. Your answers are probably gonna be different than my answers. And then the 
next finger. If I could change one thing about the world, it would be, I would say, I don't want anybody to be hungry. So I'm just gonna draw a picture of some potato chips here. Not that that's what we need. And a glass of water. And then in the future, I want to, hmm. In the future, I want to travel to a different country. Maybe. And I know, the last one, I know God is with me because everything that I see around me. So I'm going to draw a rainbow for that one, even though I'm just using one color right now. But you'd have more time. So enjoy, guys. Share your answers. Hey, Laurie, Lot. What are you all doing? Well, to be honest, I was feeling really stressed. Really stressed? I was feeling really stressed. Oh. It, it, you know, it's been a year. It has been a year. So I thought I just needed to sit and pay attention to something else other than what Lot and I were worrying about. Oh, that's a great idea. So I found this flower down here and thought I would just sit and and pay attention to it. So that's what I'm doing. Now, obviously I should have paid attention to this a little <laughs> while ago, but um, it kind of helped my mind refocus. Oh, right, I can Lottie? see that. Yeah. I can so, see, you pay attention. Yeah, the color and the smell smell and I can hear kind of different noises in the background and it's kind of quieted my my brain. I like it. This red flower. This is a great spiritual mm -hmm. practice for you adults this week. Yeah. To focus. Focus in on something to help when you're feeling anxious and scared and maybe alone. To get refocused so that you can get refocused on God and the big yep. things and the important things. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Thanks you guys for that. Thanks. Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us again this week. Some reminders, let's not forget about our celebration chart. Celebrate all the things that you are doing to help in the world and help your family. And this week, let's concentrate on our faith. The new word that we had this week, faith. Okay, Laud? Okay. Laud and I are getting ready to go take a walk. And it's gonna be a quiet walk where we can think about things that, that concern our world, things with our families, all of those good things to think about and concentrate and in a nice quiet spot. We're also gonna do some praying because that's really nice to do as you walk and you think, think about things that you could pray for. Right now, we're gonna say a prayer together. You guys ready? Here we go. All right. Dear God, dear God, our God of guidance, our God of guidance, help us to always have faith in you. Help us always to have faith in you. Thank you for guiding and leading us. Thank you for guiding and leading us to new and exciting places, to new and exciting places. Amen. Amen. Okay, don't forget, we have a new song this week. Kind of goes along with our new faith word. So that's coming on right after this. Stick around and stay tuned. Bye, guys.
So 